in the early days there was a Piper's Club in Thomas Street and then there was another club they used to call the Fiddler's Club. When I say club, that sounds a bit firm, but it was a room overhead a pub in Church Street. Some of the old country men that that, that gathered there on, on a Monday night, they encouraged young young lads like myself to, to come in and join in the session and that's how we learned new tunes, you know. It gave us a great love of the music, you know, and an understanding of where the tunes came from and the way they should be played with certain respect and dignity, I suppose, about the whole thing as well, you know. <laughs> Barney and myself knew each other from when we were teenagers, I suppose. Barney lived in Dunny Kearney, the next parish to myself in, in Marino. We used to meet over in the Fiddler's Club and uh, talk about dedication. By the time the session would finish, it could be after midnight. Buses would be stopped and he'd walk all the way home from town out to Dunny Kearney, four or five miles, you know. I remember one night Ronnie Drew comes in. I, I don't think I'd seen a guitar before. And my God almighty, the sound of this voice coming out of this slim figured man and, and the guitar accompaniment. I'd never heard this combination before. Now, the voice was absolutely unique. It frightened the life out of you, you know, to hear this voice coming out of him. From his stand of stones and mortar, he fell crashing through the quarter, where once he stood so stiff and proud and ruined. So let's sing a celebration, it's a service to the nation. I was very much aware of, of um, the beginnings of, of, of the Dubliners, uh, Luke and Ronnie and Kieran and Barney, of course. What talented people they were. We drink the memory of the brave, the faith. Luke's natural gift of singing. Barney, one of the best banjo players ever and Kieran, who was a bit of a philosopher and a dreamer. A very good whistle player, harmonica player, guitar player, and sang a number of songs in Irish. And one of the regular gigs they did was a midnight concert in the, the Grafton Cinema. That was probably one of the first times I saw them performing as a group. I remember being there one night, and Luke was in the middle of a, a slow, unaccompanied song. Black Waterside was the name of the song. Up in the balcony, in the middle of this song, there was a crash of bottles where they'd fallen through the wet paper bag. And Luke stops and he glares up at the balcony and said, ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing I hate, it's a man who can't hold his drink. <laughs> <laughs> 